Time to take advantage of this good weather. Finally, after our long winter, the people who run Food Truck Tuesdays at Larkinville here in Buffalo are getting excited. Tomorrow marks Tuesday number one of a new season of Good Eats. Thing is, some people are concerned about some things. This event maybe is too popular. Jamming too many people into a small place. Not enough parking to go around for everyone who wants to come down and eat. Tonight, our Jeff Rusak caught up with the people running the show to find out how these concerns are being addressed. Spring has sprung in Buffalo. Nice to be back outside in Buffalo. And with it comes the earliest opening day of Food Truck Tuesday in its five year history. Larkin Square transforms as dozens of food trucks and thousands of hungry people converge. We call it Buffalo's biggest dinner party. Last year, the lines at the first night of Food Truck Tuesday were long. That plus parking being an issue and not everyone was too happy. The hope is this year with there being more vendors down the road, including restaurants, that these lines won't be as long and parking will be a little bit easier. Hurry up. So we encourage people to park in the lots all along Exchange Street and they'll see signs for the parking. We also open our ramp at 515. 27 food trucks will be located at Larkin Square and another 12 will be down the road. With perfect weather last year, the place was packed. Weather dependent, that could happen again this year. Leslie Zemsky says no matter what, everyone working Food Truck Tuesday will be ready. It's almost like dinner shifts at a restaurant. That's another way we can handle thousands of people over the course of a night because it, people eat, then they leave, and, and new people come in. Springtime is here, and so is Food Truck Tuesday, and all the treats and crowds that come with it. Jeffrey Sack, 7 Eyewitness News. And you can count on 7 Eyewitness News everywhere, especially when it comes to food. Two food trucks will be joining us on the morning show starting at 5 a.m. tomorrow. And our Mike Randall will be live with the Mobile Weather Lab at the trucks during our 5 and 6 p.m. newscasts tomorrow.